Am I the only one whenever I get a triple kill, I suddenly have the urge to scream, I got a three piece, followed by, look at my bank account. Just me, thought so. Anyways, what's up people the Overpowered channel, I'm OP Voice, and the ridiculous gameplay you have right in front of your face right now is a 75 gun streak with the AK-12 on the map Strike Zone by OP Stealthy. I know there's going to be somebody in the comments spouting some useless hate like, Oh, Strike Zone, post something else for once, and all I have to say to that is pipe down. Hating on a video is useless, instead of hiding behind your default Google Plus avatar and being a keyboard warrior, how about you go and get a better gameplay, or even producing a better commentary, because I know there's gonna be at least one person in the comments saying something like, Oh, it's this that deep voice guy again, all he does is bash people, he's so cocky. Listen, there's a difference between cocky and confident. But enough about that nonsense, let's get on to the actual meat and potatoes of the commentary, and that being reality TV shows. I mean, why do they call it reality? I've never seen a reality TV show where it's just a guy living his daily life, going about things how he normally does. You see that more on those daily vlog channels here on YouTube, and they're pretty successful. And speaking about success, a friend gave me the idea for a great reality TV show. And the more and more you think about it, the more and more you realize that's actually a pretty damn good idea. That damn good idea being, let's say you have three homeless guys and you give them all $100,000. Once you give these homeless people that $100,000, you get to see them basically make or break their lives. And everybody loves a success story because people like seeing someone or something rise from the bottom and make it all the way to the top. I mean, look at sports movies. What's the main plot you see in the majority of sports movies? It's the story of an underdog team. People love that kind of stuff. Now granted, you are going to get those homeless guys who are on the streets because they're addicted to drugs or some type of shit like that. People would still enjoy that. Watching people ruin their lives is just as good of a show as watching people make their lives, really. I mean, I don't know if it's just an American thing to enjoy seeing people fail, or if it's actually quality entertainment. I mean, look at all these celebrities that you see in the news for all the wrong reasons. You got Lindsay Lohan is constantly in and out of rehab. You got Britney Spears, she shaved her head and basically went mental a while back. And then you got people like Amanda Bynes and Miley Cyrus, who went from being childhood TV stars to massive nutcases. And Americans love that type of news. Is it useless? Hell yeah it is. But is it funny? Very much so. I mean, look at the more successful TV shows out there. You got stuff like Breaking Bad. People like seeing illegal activity going down. So if some guy goes out and breaks his life going and buying cocaine all the time, people would love that type of shit. I mean, this is how the producers think. They sit there and they're like, yeah, we can give him $100,000, and then we can watch him make their lives. They'll start to start going good for a while. The viewers start liking this guy because he's on a success story. They start building like a fan base, more of like a connection with that person. And then he falls off the wagon, and then people want to keep coming back next week after next week after next week to see if he's getting back to being clean or if he's just falling more and more off the wagon. I mean, it's cruel, but that's how producers think. That's how they gotta think. They gotta see what brings in views, what racks in the views. But anyway, the gameplay is pretty much wrapping up right about now, so if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to drop, kit that like button. And also, don't forget to check out Stealthy. His link will be in the description as well as mine. And once again, I'm OP Voice, and I'm Gonzo Alonzo.